All right, y'all, real quick, I'm gonna show y'all something real fast. This is on the 42 inch Husky, 42 inch um, lawn tractor, seven speed, shit's on the go. Anyways, uh, yesterday I was cutting grass and my uh, spring right down, let me turn my light off so I can see also. Okay, my spring right, uh, I can't see it too good from this angle. I'm gonna go up underneath the tractor. So, right up under here, that spring right there, it popped off, and the reason it came off was uh, um, I had a big stick coming from the front of the motor deck all the way back this way to where the drive shaft is area and all that. But uh, anyway, somehow the spring popped off and. I couldn't uh, go anymore, but I was already pretty much done cutting grass. And I was gonna move it and park it and got a stick out and somehow the spring came out but I dropped the lawnmower when it moved. And so I pushed it up here onto the little deck and fought with it for a while. The bolt right here for this pulley where the spring is is a 9 16 but you actually ain't gonna have to even worry about taking it off. I gotta tighten this back up. But anyways, the way you get that spring back on, well, at least the way I did it, I took a bungee cord, as you can see right here. I took a bungee cord and um, chopped it down some, or crushed it in my pliers. As you can see right there, I crushed it in my pliers. Slid it through that hole right there. And I attached a spring to it. And I just pulled it on out and then I attached a spring right there. And since I can't get my bungee cord back and everything, I just said, well, I got a few cords, so I'll just leave it there. And all I did was just wrap it around from right there, coming around the back side, around there, and I just attached it right over there, out of the way. So that's how you do it. Hopefully it works, about to find out here in a second. Stay tuned. Yeah. Real fast, this is how I raised it up. I use my, I just want to see how powerful it was. This is an M12 Milwaukee Fuel uh, brushless hammer drill. I do have it in hammer mode. And uh, I am using a four amp hour battery. And the battery is not fully charged. Get it to come on, see it's got two batteries left. Or two bars but just raise it up a little bit earlier when I did it it was a little lopsided this side here was kind of leaning more and I just fixed it by shifting it over some with my weight that way switch this down into reverse okay, so that's not gonna work is it it work all right so I'm not sure if y'all are able to see that angle or not hope so but so that's how you do it and so my lawnmower didn't roll forward. I just screwed in some boards right here to help hold it in place. But now we're about to crank it up. All right, so here's the moment of truth. About to start it up, put it in choke. So that does it, it rolls. Oh, I gotta go and move this stuff out of the way. Well, I probably ain't gonna worry about it because I don't know if I can see, but it's trying to rain some right now. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And it's DIY Raymond, and we're out.